Bam, 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 bam. of RaisingNewRow.com and of ProjectWorldSchool.com. And this is World Schooling Talk, episode number two. So today I want to talk to you about a mode of world schooling I'm most familiar with, combining self-directed, interest-based learning and travel. Adding travel into the educational experience has many benefits, and today I want to focus on the non-academic aspect. I've identified six points I want to share with you that perhaps you may overlook, but we feel are very important to the entire life education we call world schooling. Number one, socializing. I hear all the time, how will your son ever be socialized? He's not in school. Well, let me tell you, travel presents opportunities to connect with people of all ages, all walks of life, all nationalities and all professions. Socializing is a no-brainer when it comes to travel, and there isn't any other activity out there that offers such diverse opportunities. So next time somebody says to you, what about socialization? Be sure to tell them that you're living in the real world. Number two, tolerance and acceptance. Through travel, we are granted the magical opportunity to practice tolerance and acceptance on a daily basis. Travel brings out the worst and best in people, and living in close proximity with one another full-time, especially family members, one has time to practice this lesson inspired by each other's quirks. Tolerance and acceptance is one of those key attributes and key life skills that you need to develop through travel and that is part of the world schooling education. Number three, practice patience. In conventional non-traveling lifestyles, patience is expected but rarely practiced as routine schedules obligations oftentimes become the norm. However, travel is the opposite. Expect the unexpected. And without a doubt, travel requires countless opportunities to simply wait. Waiting in long check-in lines, waiting for buses, waiting on buses, waiting for security procedures, and boarding planes all require patience. So travel gives you the opportunity to practice patience, another lifetime skill that we find valuable to have. Number four, contributing to group efforts. As parents, we often say, your opinion matters. But children's voices are often quieted in conventional life as routines and schedules and responsibilities oftentimes take priority. However, traveling provides the perfect platform to encourage all voices to be heard and to create equity among the group or your family as a unified unit. Practicing group dynamics is one of the most important life lessons and by encouraging your children to speak up and share their needs, share their ideas, share their their desires, interests can be met and interests can bloom in the most valuable way. Contributing to group efforts in the family unit is the perfect opportunity to develop this lifetime valuable skill. Number five, becoming adaptable. When you travel, ultimately things go wrong. There's no avoiding it. Things get lost. There are unexpected weather conditions. There are change in plans, bus schedules, issues of surrounding transportation always shift. Let me tell you, there are places closed uh, when they're supposed to be open. Being adaptable or make do is one of the most important lessons in flexibility. And it also is a lesson in letting go of expectations. All of, again, all of these lessons are real life practical lessons that you get to experience in the safety of a family. 
And number six of our list of non-academic benefits to world schooling and travel is the ability to solve real problems in the real world. So real world problem solving is not something that children have a lot of experience with when they live a conventional lifestyle, but travel provides the perfect opportunity to make real world decisions solve problems in context in addition to plan, budget, and solve whatever challenges may come up within the real world. I can't think of any other situation that provides so many opportunities to learn from life. This is why I'm a true supporter of world schooling. So that's it for today's world schooling talk. And if you have any questions you'd like for me to answer or issues you'd like for me to address in a future episode, leave your comments below and I will get to them as soon as possible. Thank you for joining us for World School Time <laughs> and learn as much as you can wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me.